Here is another testis. You can see the capsule. And rather than having nice, well-formed tubules with a little bit of stroma in between, you see that some of these tubular-like structures are proliferating. In some areas, they have a lot of stroma in between that you see here. But notice these cells in tubules or glands, or whatever you want to call them, they don't look like they're making sperm anymore, do they? They may share some uh, semblance to the uh, Sertoli cells that you see inside of tubules, which have abundant red cytoplasm. But there's absolutely nothing on here at all that looks like a germ cell. In fact, they don't even really look like seminiferous tubules. They look more like clusters of these little cells that uh, resemble Sertoli cell tumors. This is a um, Sertoli cell tumor. They're, they're generally benign, even though uh, you can see some areas have uh, big, dark, rather ugly-looking areas. Uh, let's zip into a few more areas. Uh, here you see little clusters of glands. Notice how abundant the cytoplasm is. Uh, but you can also notice in areas how well differentiated they are, uh, apparently encapsulated and do not do much by way of direct infiltration. Here's a nice little capsule separating these cells from the rest of the uh, uh, structure. Sertoli cell tumors are not germ cells. Like the Leydig cells, they are support and structure and endocrine cells basically. And uh, for this reason, Sertoli cell tumors may be endocrinologically active, whereas Leydig cells in their interstitium may produce testosterone. Sertoli cells have a whole wide variety of things that they secrete, and basically all of them are for the purpose of nurturing, supporting the seminiferous tubules, uh, especially the germ cells of the seminiferous tubules. Uh, I quite... Uh, Frankly, don't remember all the things, so I'm going to whip up this quick little page from Wikipedia over here. And you're going to see all the things that are in Sertoli cells. They secrete anti-mullerian hormone. They secrete inhibin and activins. They make androgen-binding proteins. They make glial cell line-derived neurotropic factor, all of which have very beautiful mnemonics. They also have... Uh, um, ERM transcription factor needed for maintenance of the spermatogonial stem cell. They also secrete transferrin. So these are all products uh, which may proliferate uh, when you see a Sertoli cell tumor. Thank you very much.